so hello everyone today i'm going to show you how you can do animation in cascader so if you don't know about the cascader so it's a free software that you can use for animation like character animation or any kind of like animal stuff also but basically it is like mainly for the character animation so if you want to do uh, any kind of character animation in this one you can easily do and you can do this thing in other softwares also like blender or any other software but the advantage of this thing is that it's use ai to animate and it will help you to make that animation faster as compared to the other one so how to download this software just you have to go to your browser and then you have to just write cascader just click on the first link and then you will see something like this you have to just click on get start and you can see there are some version of this one so just go with the free one and then you have to just download the windows one if you are if you are having the window and if you are having like mac or any other stuff you can just download this thing and then after download you have to install this thing you will see something like this and there are some pro project files also so they, these are my project files so whatever you make in this one it will save the projects in this area there is a learning option also so you can use their courses or you can also follow their youtube channel they have a they have all kind of like tutorial and animation on that uh, channel you can watch that thing you can see there are uh, so many character samples like uh, unreal engine 5 mannequins or you will get some kind of other character also the lion or you uh, stuff and there is a dragon also uh, this things okay so you can use any character for this uh, tutorial i will just use the uv5 mannequin and you have to just select this one so it will look like this when you click on that so you will get the character in this area so this is your viewport where you do all your animation and there are some buttons over the top of these things and it's used for animation uh, i will just tell you these things later in this tutorial and there we have our timeline there is the timeline um there is also some buttons i will tell you this is like play button like you can see it is playing the timeline like that the advantage of this thing like is it use ai to animate everything okay if you see if i grab the point or oh, and if i show the uh, like shortcut keys so if you click left click you will select the points of these things and if you want to scale something so you will get the scale button right there so this one is for selection this one is for movement like this movement and this one is for rotation if you click on this one it will rotate like this or you can use the shortcut keys it will be written there rotate e and uh, move like translate w scale like this okay so you can use these things also you have to use these things in order to uh, change the position of your character what you have to do if you see if i click on this one if i and, and i press w if I move the leg of this character, you can see it is changing the hand position also and try to balance the character like this. Okay, so this is the advantage of this thing. Like you really don't need to be focusing on the other stuff. You can just directly do the stuff like this and you are good to go. You see how it bending the character and everything like this like that so okay so it will be helpful for many cases but most of the time you will see like uh it just become a little bit uncomfortable when you are using like this type of uh ai stuff because it try to mimic the stuff and yeah sometimes you need to move your hand in specific position or in specific degree something like that so what it does it uh it like it just uh, rotate the whole body and you have to learn this thing how to move the hands properly so it doesn't move the other parts of the body and other stuff like that okay so yeah that's the thing so i will just create a basic animation to show you like how how to use the software okay there is a timeline and in order to add keyframes so what you have to do like if you want to make a jumping animation okay and yeah this button is for like the up and down and if you want to move the window like this you have to hold alt on your keyboard and you have to left click like this okay so you will move this thing like that and for zoom in you can just middle mouse zoom you can use your middle mouse to zoom in and zoom out like scroll down uh, i mean scroll up and down like this and it will zoom in and zoom out and there is a option uh, not option like there is a button for xyz axis if you click on these x axis it will rotate all stuff in the x axis and it will be properly aligned and if you click their middle okay 
so it will be just like this view so and if you click like this it will be in this view okay so uh in this view you will see the there is a line and it uh, it will help you to like move your character precisely like this okay so it doesn't pass this line so make sure that this is your line like not line like this is your surface it helps you to like uh to maintain the position or like to maintain the leg position okay so you have to just click on the xyz and then you have to just get on this and it will be a proper like in z axis or z axis okay something like that if you see that uh, there are some points like there is a blue point and there are all green points okay so the green points means that it is using ai to uh, make your post looks like that and if it is blue then it is not using ai to make the uh, make the like well, what we say make the pose uh so if i just disable this thing like if you see okay if i move this leg up so now the ai is try to mimic or mimic the real life how we balance our body like that okay and if i move this thing you see everything is moving uh, with the legs how i move the leg it is moving the hands the head the body torso everything if i disable this thing like if i click on this one and if you press shift z so it will disable that point okay and now it is not using ai to mimic the position of the character okay and if i now move my leg like this you see the hands are on that position only it is not changing and it will be there okay so it is very useful because uh, not every time you really want to use ai to make your position sometimes you need specific pose or specific type of thing then you can just disable this thing and you can make your own post like that uh, i will just show you a simple jumping animation because i really uh, like i am also in learning phase of this software so i just show you the basic stuff and when i learn more about the software i will just make the tutorials and yeah for this one i will just show you the jumping animation so there is a timeline and you can see there is a blue box so it's a keyframe and if you go anywhere and just suppose i want a keyframe in my 10th like in this one so you have to just make your red line there and you have to just press f or you can press this button also okay and if you want to remove this keyframe you can just press f again and it will remove the keyframe okay so yeah just uh, let's make a jumping animation so in the first position i want the character to be look uh, just mm, like this okay and then i will go to frame 10 i will make a keyframe pressing f and what i will do i will move the torso i will select everything like that or what you can do you can just select the this thing and you can bend the body like this okay and then you will i will go to the like this keyframe and i will add a keyframe in 20 and then what i will do i will just uh, select this and i will make this thing up like that okay and then i will go to frame 30 and then i will make her make his body bend like this okay and then i will go to frame 40 um i will go down like that i will make sure like it is like that i will select the point like this and yep like i will just down the character like this okay so it looks something like this and yeah so now for the last frame what i can do i can just copy this frame and in order to copy the frame what you have to do you have to hold shift and hold middle mouse and then you have to drag the point so it will be copy the points like that okay so you see we make our animation and if you want to limit the timeline you can just click on the 50 this thing and it will limit your timeline so now it looks and the shortcut key for to play this animation instead of just clicking there every time you can just press x in your keyboard so by pressing x you can see it has looked like this something this is now looking very blocky because we don't have any kind of keyframes between this blank area so you have to select all this thing like hold your left click and then uh, click on that one then you have to just click on that button and there is some kind of interpolation so these are the interpolations method we can use to fill up these gaps so just uh, select this one and now you will see it looks something like this okay and it doesn't feel realistic at all so now what you can do you can use auto physics tool uh, to make this animation look a little bit better so there is a button of auto physics so if you enable this thing just click on this one so you can see there is a green character so this is the auto physics one so what it does like it just give you like realistic motions okay if you see 
see this one and this one okay if i press x see how it just give the dynamic movements okay the bounciness of this stuff the hands are bending properly a little bit more life into this animation okay the left one and the right one is just simple like this okay uh so after this what you have to do and you will get a like this button you have to just expand this thing and there will be an option of snap to auto physics okay this one you have to just click on this one and it will snap your character like this okay and if i go to scene settings not scene settings like in the physics tab you will see there is a ghost offset okay if you turn this thing off you will see it is like snapped into this one and it will be like copy all the stuff from the auto physics to your main character okay so after when it's done you can just turn off the animation and you can see your main animation is doing that ai stuff okay you see it looks better so you can give more detail like the hands are like moving and bending like this okay you can do anything whatever you want to do now it is like broken because it's fixed keyframe after when you apply the auto physics it will just apply to you can't change anything after this and in order to use the auto physics and to change the keyframes after applying the auto physics what you have to do i will undo this thing everything so now you can see it is not applying the auto physics it is like normal if i enable the auto physics like this ghost effect i will just turn this thing on and uh, there is a button you can see uh fixing the interpolation on change interval okay you have to just turn this thing off and when now when you apply the auto physics you notice one thing that your keyframe will not become green okay so now it is not like fixed keyframes they you can change anything between this thing and it will be like properly matched with this thing okay if i show you like if i just move this arm you can see how dynamic it is moving it is not like jitter stuff or any kind of like skipped frames like that okay it is properly moving the arms and everything okay and then you can uh, again create your auto physics and you can see the hands are moving properly like this okay like that if i show the animation like this and there is a shortcut key if you want to hide this like all type of rig stuff this thing uh you have to just press s on your keyboard and it will be hide those things okay so i think that's it for this tutorial because i really don't want to go that much deep so it's just a beginning tutorial so i will definitely make some advanced tutorial also but i will just uh i just want to show you the how to use this software and just some kind of interface stuff and there are so many tools in this one you can use so many tools like fulcrum point i will just explain this thing in other tutorials i think this is good enough for this one so yeah that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching